I love the interactions with the students. I love to see students getting excited about solving a problem or finding a solution to a problem that they have been grappling with for a while. I love to see students starting at the beginning in their first year when they don't really know what they want to do and get them through the project and through the journey and see them graduate and being excited about moving on and solving bigger problems that we have in our communities. My name is Elena Rosca and I am faculty and currently the head of engineering department at Oshesi University. After eight years of being part of the Oshesi community, I find myself in the head of department position with a great um, honor to take up this position, but also a great challenge to continue the great work that's been started by Dr. Nathan Amankwa in developing and establishing the program. My main goal is to continue on this, the development of the, uh, of the department and to focus on the integration of these new programs that we're bringing in, the BSc Mechatronics and the BSc Biological Engineering and how we can integrate these programs into the engineering curriculum and foster an interaction and a collaboration between all the different um, majors in the engineering department and also the other majors at the university as the computer science and the business administration. Building on a success of the students who participated in the iGEM competition, we as a university started discussing about introducing biological engineering to our curriculum. This move has also been fueled by the COVID pandemic, which um, had seen a great influx of vaccine company wanting to start productions of vaccines in the region. And so we are looking at developing engineers that can step in to support the development of these factories and the productions of new um, vaccines or any other medicines um, that are being um, developed or started initiated to be developed in Africa, in particular in Ghana. At Arshesi, we hold the engineering students to high standards academically and we support them by providing them high quality um, teaching. In addition to that, we are creating an environment where students practically learn how to solve engineering problems and develop projects that will address community problems. And at the end of their journey, we are generating students who are highly trained academically, but also practically, and also have a community a mind frame to support and solve problems that are existing around them and their community.